it's uh, 4.30 in the morning, and I'm either crazy or stupid or both, but I'm headed to go fly fishing with my brother. We do this about once a year, so it's a pretty exciting time. I'm gonna be heading out to the Caribou region. He actually lives out that way now, and uh, he's been scoping this lake. He's been telling me and sending me crazy photos and videos of the fishing out there, so I'm gonna go try and get some tight lines with my brother, and uh, hopefully we can get some fish in the boat today. Eggy lent me his boat. He's gonna be doing some uh, yard work and stuff today. Unfortunately, he couldn't join along, but uh, tag along with me. I'm gonna go and uh, throw some cronies and slam some monies. Well, two and a half hours later, we're in uh, 100 Mile, and uh, I'm just gonna do probably the most Canadian thing of all time and uh, get my brother a breakfast wrap from Tim Hortons. Got the, uh, got the monies out, and uh, I'm on the Swiss chocolate this morning. To the man that just bought my Timmy's in the drive-thru, thank you. That was very amazing. I actually passed the favor on. I paid for the bill behind me. And uh, today's gonna be a sick day. <laughs> That's, uh, man, Canadians are rad. That was uh, totally uncalled for. Don't know who the guy was, didn't catch a glimpse, anything. But uh, man, in times like this, sometimes that's all you need. Just made it to the lake here, gonna get my rods all set up, throw the boat in the water, and then uh, head out. My brother's uh, a couple minutes behind me, and then uh, we're gonna go and try and hopefully slay some fish. <laughs> Hey, don't forget your Timmy's, man. It's not fly fishing in Canada if you don't start the day with Timmy's. Oh, not bad. Here we go. What's the story with the dragon? Does that, get, does that mean you're a dragon slayer? You bet. Made her out onto the lake. Got my brother chased me with the gas motor. I gotta let him swing by and grab onto me and get us to the other end as fast as we can. He's got a gas motor. I got this little electric that I fell over on once because I had some fishing mayhem, but uh, we'll get there. If I get down nice and low like this, I can get into the slipstream, eh? I can really get to the fishing hole faster. You sit up high on the seat there, you got more drag. There's a little lee motor, a little bit of headwind. You don't like that. Now we're just sit and wait. Hopefully that sucker just buries. We're on the board with one. Woo! One in the net and one on the rod, eh, brother? Yep. How's it going, dude? Oh, just about lost my rod. Oh. Getting some redemption now. Back into another one. Levi's still fighting his second fish, and uh, I got another one on the line. Things just got a little crazy right there. I was filming Levi because he just put one big one in the net. He's fighting a big one right now. And while that was happening, my rod just got ripped right out of the boat. And uh, luckily the oar was sticking out the side of the boat and saved it. How many times have you been into your backing already? Levi's got three fish in his net and uh, they're all slapped. We found a little pocket with some fish. And we've just been hammering for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, dude. Nice fish. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Sick day, dude. Well, 16 hours later, I just backed into the house and um, that was the day. I got rained on, hammered on fish, got skunked for a long time, and then had like 10 minutes of fury right when it was time to pack up and head home. So had a great time catching up with my brother Levi and uh, watched him put on a clinic. Man, that guy could catch fish out of a mud puddle. I got a lot to learn of this chronomid fishing thing, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and stay tuned.